Howdy everyone and welcome back to The More You Grow. So I checked the front porch this morning and we have a package. I've been excited for this for a few weeks now. We're going to try out the Earthway Garden Cedar. So we're going to take this inside, put it together, I'll show you everything in the box, and then we're going to take it out to the land and plant some seed and hopefully it works well. But we'll see as we go along. So let's go check it out. Alright guys, we have our package inside where we can take a little bit closer look. As I said previously, we have the Earthway Garden Cedar here. I got this because we needed something to help us put the seeds in the ground for plants that need to be planted by seed. And I needed to find something that was relatively inexpensive for now until we could get tractor implements to put our seeds in the ground. So hopefully this Earthway Garden Cedar will be the trick. And I'm pretty sure we have to do some assembly on this because if it's all put together in this box, this is not what I thought it was. So we're going to open this up. I'll show you exactly what it looks like as it comes in the mail and we'll get it all put together. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to lay this down first, I guess. And we're going to open up this box and see what we got. Okay. Okay, it comes with a nice set of instructions. And inside we have, let's see what we have here. I think this is the handle. Well, let's just drag all this out. Let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. It's pretty well put together already. I thought it would be in more pieces. You have the handle here, which it's looking pretty good. And you have the cedar here. Take this cardboard off. Okay, so we're going to have to put the wheel on here in a minute. But that should be fairly easily. We got the wheel here. Most of the cedar is already pretty well put together, which is a relief because I thought I was going to have to do a lot of work to get this put together. And inside you have the seed box with a seed plate in there that you can switch out. And you have a set of different seed plates for different things you want to plant. And it says on the box which one goes to which and it says on the plates as well. So we are going to just take these and see what we can get put together. Alrighty guys, we have the Earthway Cedar all put together now. All we had to put on was this handle up here and that's just these two bolts and nuts. And we only had to put on this back wheel which is just sliding a bolt in and putting a nut on that. And that's all there is for assembly right out of the box. And now let's talk about what we're going to plant with it first. The crop we're going to use to test out this Earthway Cedar is by far one of my favorites and a very popular one down here in the south. It's black eyed peas. And they call them black eyed peas for those who don't know because they look like they got a black eye here. And from what I've been told in the northern states they use this as cattle feed. But down here in the south we like to cook them up with a little bit of bacon and they are delicious. Oh my goodness. Can't beat fresh black eyed peas. The other crop we're going to put in is very, very similar, but very different in many ways. We have pink eyed purple holes, and they're called pink eyes because they got pink eyes where the black eyes were. Called purple holes because they have purple holes. They're beautiful. And they're very similar to black eyed peas in many ways, but some people have a preference for one over the other. If you do have a preference, let me know why in the comments because I'd love to hear that. So now that we know what we're planting, let's talk about what we need to do to adjust this cedar for the seeds we're gonna be putting in the ground. First of all, you gotta pick your seed plate. In this case, I'm gonna try out one that says jumbo peas and peas. We're gonna try this one out. And when you look on their manual, it tells you how far each seed plate will space the seeds. And in my case, I wanted to take them a little bit further. I wanted to space them a little bit further than what this seed plate was gonna do. So my solution for that was to put some electrical tape on every other hole and it should work like a charm. And then what's going to happen is when you put this seed plate back up here in the seed box, it's going to come around into your seeds and pick up one to two seeds per scoop. The next thing we need to do is we need to adjust our planting depth for the seeds we're going to be putting in. And the way you do that is right here with this kind of plow looking edge. And the way you do that is there's a wing nut here and there is 
marks on the side with different numbers of inches and that's going to let you know how many inches deep this is going to plow your row to put your seeds in. Once you've got everything adjusted on your seed ear for the seeds you're putting in the ground by choosing the correct seed plate, adjusting your spacing on your seed plate by either blocking or unblocking holes, and choosing the correct depth for your seeds by adjusting your middle plow here. All there is to it is to get the seeds in the ground. And the way this thing works is this front wheel is what turns the belt, which turns our seed plate here. The seed plate comes around, picks up a seed in each of these little cups, and it drops it down this little chute here, which goes behind your plow edge and puts it in the ground. The chain is on here because it's going to drag a little bit of soil over the top of your seeds to make sure they're covered. And finally, this back wheel is flat for a reason. It packs the seeds in just a little bit to get good soil contact. And once you have that, all you need is some good old rain. So now that we got our seeds and our seeder ready, let's go get these on the ground and see how this thing works. Okay guys, so we got our seed plate all ready to go and our depth down to one inch. So now we're gonna try this out and see how it works. Alrighty guys, it's been a few weeks since we planted our first round of black eyed peas with the Earthway Cedar. And I just wanted to give you a close look at what they look like now and how the Earthway Cedar did at getting our seeds in the ground. Let's take a closer look. As you can see here, we have a pretty good stand of little black eyed pea seedlings. This is where we did the six inch spacing with the electrical tape covering half of the holes. We took it off halfway through this row just to see what would happen. And as you can see with these guys, we have a pretty good little germination rate, but they're a little bit too close for what I would prefer. So I think we had it just right the first time with the electrical tape covering half the holes for that seed plate. They're a little bit thinner looking, but that's gonna give them more space to grow. But overall, I would have to say that it did a pretty good job. If all these make, we're gonna have a ton of black eyed peas. So there you go guys, our Earthway Cedar worked like a charm. In fact, it worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. The only changes I would make is if we could make the handles a little bit higher, it'd be easier for people to push without having to bend over as much. But that's something we can modify. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any more questions for me about the Earthway Cedar, or any of the seeds we put in the ground, leave them down in the comments. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, I hope you'll join me right here on The More You Grow.